It might seem a little odd that, you know, Missouri, a state in the middle of America, is focusing a project on immigration, but, you know, you don't have to be a border state to feel the effects of immigration in your community and in your state. Immigration yes. is happening everywhere. Um, and I think through the stories that we're, we're illustrating uh, in Homeland, uh, are really represent that. We, we spend a lot of time uh, traveling across Missouri, uh, getting an idea of how immigration actually affects communities here. Uh, smaller communities, small towns in, uh, in Missouri, particularly in Monette, Missouri. There's a large influx of Hispanics um, that came there because there were jobs available. And we, we take a look at what has been the effect on that town um, from having a, a new culture come to a town that essentially was was a white town, was a white town of all American-born, American-bred people. Um, what has that done for the economy there? What has, how has that affected the schools? Would I want to work in a chicken processing plant? Probably not. Uh, but I'm glad that there are people, that there's people who are willing to do that. Um, and, and it's a good job, you know, they make a good living. And uh, without places like Tyson there, you know, where would those people work and what would happen to that town? Um, and those are things that we're looking at because you don't necessarily look at it from that perspective of what happens if there aren't people to take jobs. Um, what happens if those uh, industries uh, leave and, and, and go to another country? I, you know, get to be in the homes of families that you wouldn't, I normally would never be there. You don't get to experience the camaraderie of different cultures. And, and hopefully the personal experiences that I'm getting from being there live will, will come through um, in the documentary and other people will feel that they've experienced these other cultures and certain circumstances that otherwise they would have no idea about. A lot of the, the experiences that, that I'm getting as a, as a producer on this documentary are new to me. You know, I attended my first, my first homecoming, believe it or not, I've never been to one. I, I was really excited. I was, it was, felt, a, you know, like I was a part, part of the kids. I was a little nervous though, you know, when you enter high school and it's like, oh, I hope they like me, you know. <laughs> Monette, you know, it's been about 15 years that they've had this Hispanic, uh, mostly Mexican population, and this year actually was, um, it, it sort of was the, the highlight of um, how far they've come, because this was the first year that they had a, a Mexican homecoming queen, and I think that says a lot for how far that they've come. Yeah, I think for, for cultural assimilation, it's for, for newer, um, immigra newer immigrants to the United States, it's easier through their children. You know, I think that we're seeing that assimilation um, through kids, especially after, um, you know, through grade school and into the high school level. You know, the American dream is different for every single person that lives in the United States and for those that are coming here. And it depends on who you are, what your background is. American dream is what it is to each person.